Welcome to Fanfiction Audiobook. I'm in Marvel, my wife is God King Hela. Chapter 21 While Pierce was desperate, there were a group of people who were anxious. That is the Xavier School of Genius Youth headed by the X-Men, that is, mutants. Laser I was originally planning to kneel down for Yi Bai and beg Yi Bai to release Professor Yi Bai. Even Laser I has made plans to use his own life to change the life of the professor. But the crux of the problem is that he can't find where Yi Bai is now. They went to Yi Bai's manor, but did not find Yi Bai, only an empty manor. Even if I wanted to kneel, I didn't have this opportunity. This ending made Laser I almost run away. If Yi Bai is not found, Professor X will not be able to survive for a few days. Maybe when Yi Bai returns, Professor X's funeral will be over. At this time, the Storm Lady, who had more ideas in the X-Men, proposed a way to extend Professor X's life. This method is to transfer Wolverine's vitality into Professor X's body by using the mutation ability of Little Naughty. The most terrifying thing about Wolverine is his self-healing ability, which can be called a beast that will not die. This plan is indeed feasible. After getting Wolverine's vitality, Professor X's situation is much better. Although he was still in a coma, at least his physical condition did not deteriorate further. The only thing that suffers is Wolverine. The original Wolverine was a hunk, with a strong muscle exuding a sturdy atmosphere, which was very difficult to provoke at first glance. But now, Wolverine was languid and pale, as if his body had been hollowed out. When I look at the harmless little mischief of humans and animals, my eyes are full of fear and rejection. And thinking that such days might last for a while, Wolverine's thoughts of jumping off the building are all there. Never before has Wolverine been so desperate for Laser Eye to succeed. Even Wolverine wanted to find Yi Bai as soon as possible, and then knelt down with a plop, begging Yi Bai to quickly recover his magical powers. Otherwise, if this continues, Professor X may not die, but he will be by a naughty man first. Yi Bai naturally didn't know this about the Xavier Genius School. Even Professor X's situation, Yi Bai didn't pay much attention. After punishing the old hooligan with black magic, Yi Bai didn't care. Yi Bai didn't feel distressed at all. It doesn't matter if you are not dead, as long as you don't come to him and cause trouble. Yi Bai was lying on the deck with Hila at this time, looking forward to seeing the land quickly. This is the third day of their yacht trip, and in one sentence, it is a bit boring. Looking at the endless sea around him, Yi Bai deeply felt that it was a foolish thing to go out on a yacht. One day was fine, but the next day I was a little tired. In fact, the yacht itself is not used for travel, the yacht is actually a party tool. This is also the fundamental reason why the richest people in the Eagle Sauce country rarely buy yachts. The price performance ratio of yachts is really too low, and the travel experience is extremely poor. They are generally used to hold various parties or go fishing. If you really want to travel, you still have to rely on airplanes. This is also the reason why there are so many private jets in Yingjiang country. Yi Bai has plans to buy a private jet, anyway, he is not short of money now. Finally, after the third day of boring sailing, Yi Bai and Hila finally arrived at the private port in the City of Angels. At this time, there were already a dozen people waiting at the port. These people are the butler team hired by Yi Bai to take care of Yi Bai's daily life. This is to enjoy life, otherwise you have to do everything yourself, and Yi Bai, a billionaire, is too out of hand. Sir, the car is ready, do you return to the villa directly? As soon as Yi Bai and Hila got out of the car, an old man with a very gentleman came forward and bowed to Yi Bai and asked. Let's go, go home first, and then see the situation. Yi Bai was also used to it, and replied faintly, and then took Hela's hand and walked into an extended Rolls Royce. Although Yi Bai received a socialist education before crossing, he has to admit that capitalism is indeed commendable. For example, for the wealthy, capitalism is much more convenient and more enjoyable. Many things do not require you to worry about, naturally there will be a team to arrange everything for you. All you have to do is to calm down and enjoy. After three consecutive days of sailing, Hila was also a little tired. At this time, she was leaning on Yi Bai's shoulder and closing her eyes to rest. What? You say Hila is a god of death, how could you be exhausted from traveling? Hee hee, then you have to see who Hila travels with. On a yacht, 
Nibai must have some fun when he is bored. Unfortunately, Hila couldn't even run. In three days, how could Hila not get tired? Without a word, the extended Rolls Royce quickly stopped in front of a luxurious villa in Beverly Hills. Yibai did not let his butler team continue to follow up, but dismissed them. Then he helped Hila, who was a little soft when he walked, slowly walked into this luxurious villa. Before entering it, Yibai frowned slightly. He heard the sound of human breathing in his villa. Someone came in, Yibai thought in his heart, and then became a little angry. This is his house, his private property. He wanted to see who dared to break in. Don't forget, the Eagle Soup country has the castle law. For those guys who broke into the villa privately, Yibai is not guilty of shooting him to death. In the villa, Bruce Banner was asleep. Since coming to this luxurious villa, Bruce Banner has lived a very good life. Don't worry about someone chasing yourself, because no one will break into such a mansion at will. The only thing to note is when will the owner of this villa come back. It's better to never come back, Bruce Banner thought. Suddenly, Bruce Banner, who was asleep, woke up with his eyelids beating slightly. Thanks to these days of experience, his vigilance is many times stronger than before, allowing him to stay vigilant during sleep. When he heard movement on the first floor of the villa, Bruce Banner's first reaction was that he was a thief. But after another thought, isn't he a thief? So this guess was quickly rejected, and there was only one answer left, and the owner of this mansion returned. Realizing this, Bruce Banner woke up immediately and began to think about the route to run. In Yingjiang country, if he runs a little slower, he will not rule out the possibility of being shot directly by the owner of the house. Moreover, he was shot to death in this house, and he died in vain. Yibai put Hila on the sofa on the first floor and let Hila rest. Yibai stepped up the stairs and walked towards the second floor. Yibai clearly perceives that an unexpected guest has arrived on the second floor of his home. Yibai is going to find out to see who is so bold and dare to break into his private house. Listening to Yibai's unabashed footsteps, Bruce Banner was completely panicked. He started looking for a way to escape, but he couldn't find it in a short time. I can only rush around in the same place, and then look at Yibai who has come to the second floor. The air was quiet at this moment, Bruce Banner and Yibai looked at each other, both of them were a little confused. Oh my god, it's you, Yi. Great, I finally don't have to worry about being shot. Bruce Banner was the first to react, with a surprised look on his face, and he opened his arms to hug Yibai. Yibai rolled his eyes too, but he didn't expect it to be the one who broke into his house. And isn't this guy in the Big Apple City now? How come to the City of Angels? Seeing Bruce Banner who was about to come and hug him, Yibai stopped his movements. Banna, why are you here? And it has become like this. Yibai asked, pretending to be puzzled. Yes, Yibai and Bruce Banner know each other, and they have a good relationship. Bruce Banner is an out-and-out -out genius, with seven doctorate degrees at a young age, which is unique in the entire Eagle Sauce country. Even better than Tony Stark can't do this, one can imagine how talented Bruce Banner is. Of course, Tony Stark couldn't do it not because he was incapable, but because he was lazy. As for Yi Bai, he is also a genius, literary. Such two geniuses have graduated from the same university, which is regarded as the relationship of brothers. Naturally, Bruce Banner and Yi Bai have friendship. After all, at their level, the circle is so big, it doesn't work if they don't know each other. Yibai naturally knew that Bruce Banner was Hulk, and it was because of this that he first met Bruce Banner. At that time, Yibai's sign in system hadn't awakened yet, so naturally he wanted to hug a thick thigh. After that, Yibai met Hila, and then there is the current story. And Bruce Banner, because he is busy with scientific research, the two have never seen him again. I didn't expect to meet in this way today. Banna, how are you doing recently? Why did you suddenly come to my house? In the living room on the first floor, Yibai simply entertained Banner, and casually brewed a bottle of beer worth thousands of dollars from glacier water in the past. Banner took the beer, took a sip, and then replied, it's a long story. It's all because of an experiment. Bruce Banner did not intend to conceal Yibai, but told all the things about him recently. From the beginning of the experiment, it was penetrated by gamma rays, and then demons were born in the body, and they were hunted by the whole world. 
Banner said very miserably, and he couldn't help but choke a little bit. He is not the future superhero Hulk now, he is just an ordinary doctor who has never seen many storms. An ordinary person, encountering such a big mess, without a nervous breakdown, is already tenacious. Yi Bai also expressed his sympathy in a timely manner, and Banner was unlucky. However, Yi Bai didn't plan to intervene in this matter either, anyway, Banner could handle it sooner or later. Then what do you plan to do in the future? Keep hiding. Yi Bai asked Banner, a little curious about what Banner planned to do later. As for helping Banner, forget it. Yi Bai didn't want to cause trouble. Besides, Yi Bai didn't have any intentions with Banner, and didn't plan to accept Hulk as a younger brother. Naturally, he wouldn't care too much about Banner. I, I don't know, take one step at a time. If it doesn't work, I'll go to Feijo, where the federal government doesn't have much eyeliner, and if it's a big deal, I will live the rest of my life as a Feijo native. Banner shook his head and replied somewhat bitterly. He naturally hopes that Yi Bai can help himself, but he also knows that this is unrealistic. To be honest, after Yi Bai learned of his situation, he didn't get rid of him directly, which was quite interesting. Banner is also really embarrassed to trouble Yi Bai anymore. And Banner also knew that Yi Bai could not help at all in this matter, and Yi Bai would not go against the whole world for him. As a friend, I wish you good luck. But I believe that the future will not be so bad, after all, it is bad enough now. Yi Bai smiled and said, comforting Banner. Although he didn't intend to get involved in this matter, Yi Bai didn't want to give up Banner as a friend. Just like Tony Stark, being friends with good people is a joy in itself. Thank you, I feel much better now. You are right, nothing is worse than it is now. I'm going to leave, I've troubled you these days. Banner stood up, bowed to Yi Bai and said. He also knows that if he continues to stay with Yi Bai, it will only cause Yi Bai more trouble. Yi Bai nodded slightly, without intending to stay. Banner's departure is good for both parties. But Yi Bai's expression moved and frowned. In Yi Bai's perception, a large group of soldiers had surrounded the villa, and the military came. After realizing this, Yi Bai glanced at Banner helplessly, knowing that trouble was unavoidable. Banner also seemed to realize something, and there was a lot of fear on his face. It seems that these escapes of time have left Banner with a great psychological shadow. At this moment, the doorbell of Yi Bai's villa rang. Yi Bai stood up, gave Banner a look of peace and quiet, and then walked towards the door. The one who came first was a middle-aged man with sharp eyes. If Yi Bai didn't guess wrong, it should be Banner's old father-in-law, General Ross, the military lieutenant general. Also the future red giant, Hulk's enemy. Where is the person? General Rose spoke with a hint of arrogance, causing Yi Bai to frown. I don't understand what you are talking about. And this is my private land. Your military has no right to enter here. Yi Bai protested with a cold face, this is also the tradition of Yingjong. Even if the police enter the house to search, there must be a search warrant, otherwise the owner of the house has the right to kill the police and protect his own safety. It sounds magical in reality, but this is the national condition of Yingjong, a breath of freedom. When General Ross and Yi Bai were in a stalemate, Dr. Banner walked out. The sudden appearance of Dr. Banner eased the originally tense situation. General Ross no longer looked at Yi Bai with arrogant eyes, and Yi Bai's killing intent was slowly dissipating. Yi, I'm glad you helped me, but I don't want to escape this matter anymore. You are right, there is nothing worse than it is now. Banner made Yi Bai's brows frown with a utterly enlightened posture. Obviously, Banner wanted to drive and didn't want to run anymore. I can't run away anyway, so I might as well accept my fate. And if Banner didn't show up just now, Yi Bai would definitely be in trouble, which was one of the reasons Banner made the decision. Looking at Banner, Yi Bai finally did not choose to intervene. Anyway, all this is what Banner is going to experience. As for him, he didn't want to ruin his peaceful life because of Banner's affairs. General Rose also no longer competed with Yi Bai, but turned his head and ordered his subordinates to control Dr. Banner. Finally, after another glance at Yi Bai, he turned around and led everyone out of the villa. Yi Bai is also a trouble for General Rose. After all, Yi Bai is not an ordinary person, but a super rich man, and also has a huge social influence. 
Against such a person, even if General Ross is very powerful in the military, he must seriously consider the consequences. After all, Yingzhong is a capitalist society, and the rich are the uncles. After these military men left with Dr. Banner, Yi Bai shook his head and returned to the room. Yi Bai is sure that he doesn't plan to intervene in this matter, and there is no need to intervene. You can't just kill everyone just because you have a good relationship with Dr. Banner. That's not helping Dr. Banner, it's harming him. It's all right. Hila also had a good rest at this time, walked out of the room, and asked Yi Bai. It's okay, this in itself has nothing to do with us. Yi Bai simply replied, completely forgetting about Dr. Banner's matter. With this idle time, it's better to cook something delicious and nourish the wife. Yi Bai did plan to treat Hila well, and it was really hard for her these three days. Since Dr. Banner was taken away by the military, the lives of Yi Bai and Hila have calmed down. It has to be said that the climate in the City of Angels is indeed better than the Big Apple City and is more suitable for life. Yi Bai and Hila have completely forgotten everything in the past few days and enjoyed them with peace of mind. Occasionally organize barbecue parties with some big stars, or go fishing in the sea on a yacht. By the way, I also took time to watch a Lakers home game and watched Corvo play a whole game of iron. After all, the first iron king in history, the old blacksmith. As for Hila, she seemed a little uncomfortable with this kind of life, too comfortable. But he didn't refuse. Instead, he tried to blend in, but when he was in front of outsiders, Hila kept a cold face. This is not bad, indicating that Hila has already begun to change for Yi Bai. There is a saying that when you like someone, you want the other person to change for you. If you love someone, you can change yourself for the other person. Hila is like this, for Yi Bai is slowly changing herself. Although this change was slow, Hila didn't even realize it. But after a certain amount of time, Hila looked back and she might be shocked by her changes. As for whether this change is a good thing or a bad thing, just look at the tenderness in Hela's eyes. While Yi Bai was enjoying life, Dr. Banner suffered several days of inhuman torture. First, he was injected with a serum inhibitor to prevent the monster in Dr. Banner from rushing out. Then came various blood draws, researches, and various data checks. Banner these days can't even be called a human being, but a little white mouse on an experimental platform. The so-called human rights and freedom seem like a joke under the research of the military. Banner deeply realized the malice of this world and suffered a ruthless beating by capital. So that Banner often imagined that if he was not so naive, the military is really untrustworthy. And in the research room of this secret base, a very risky experiment is going on. Colonel Brownski, are you sure you want to accept this experiment? Know that this experiment is extremely risky. We have never tested it on humans before. A scientific researcher wearing a white coat confirmed to the soldier tied to the test bed. Hurry up and start this experiment, I can't wait for a moment. I believe I will succeed, and I will gain this kind of power. Colonel Brownski said grimly, and constantly urged the researchers to inject Hulk's serum into his body. Yes, the essence of this experiment is that the military hopes to use Hulk's serum to recreate a Hulk. If successful, the military will master the technology of mass production Hulk. At that time, the Earth could not stop Yingzhong, their goal was the stars and the sea. I see, the experiment will begin soon. The researchers ordered the rest of the assistants, and soon started this experiment. Outside the laboratory, General Rose looked through the window at what was happening inside. His eyes flashed with desire for success and terrible ambition. The earliest origin of this experiment was the Super Soldier Project during World War II. Scientists used Super Soldier Serum to create the first superhero of Yingzhong, the U.S. team. Then the research on Super Soldiers was forced to stop. General Ross restarted this project not long ago and intends to create a Super Soldier that is stronger than the U.S. team. And Dr. Banner was the main person in charge of this project. This experiment was indeed successful, but it was not the kind of success that General Ross and Dr. Banner had envisaged. They did get a super soldier who was stronger than the U.S. team, but this super soldier was uncontrollable. Hulk, a naive man with only smashing and anger in his head. This is the product of the experiment of General Ross and Dr. Banner. 
Now General Rose hopes to recreate a controllable Hulk with the serum made from Hulk's blood. General, the experiment will begin soon, I suggest you avoid it immediately. After all, no one knows whether what we created this time is a qualified fighter or another Hulk. At the side of General Ross, his adjutant stepped up to speak after seeing the experiment started. The meaning is obvious, I hope that General Ross will go to a safe place first. General Rose nodded, and did not object to what his adjutant said. As the adjutant said, no one knows whether angels or demons will be born after the experiment. His position is high and his life is expensive, so naturally he will not stay in such a dangerous place. Let the adjutant take charge of the situation here. He sits in the back and waits for the results of the experiment. General Ross, who was being transferred, didn't know that this experiment he led by one hand would create another monster. A monster named Abomination. Not long after, General Rose received a call back from his adjutant. General Rose didn't think much about it, and got connected directly. William, how is the situation? General Rose asked his adjutant. General, the experiment was very successful. We created a super soldier no less than Hulk. The only problem is that this super soldier looks a little out of control. The adjutant stood outside the laboratory, looking at the terrifying monster in the laboratory through the window, and said with some worry. I believe Colonel Brownski. He is the best soldier. His will is stronger than steel. He won't let us down, we are destined to succeed. General Rose said confidently, without worrying about being slapped in the face. Colonel Brownski is Rose's old man, and he followed General Rose very early. Starting with the lowest rank of soldiers, Colonel Brownski was pulled up by General Rose with one hand. General Ross is very confident of Brownski's belief. After hearing General Rose's answer, the adjutant felt calm. Just as he was about to hang up, a terrible scene happened in the laboratory. The monster that Colonel Brownski had turned into, broke free of the control of the operating table, and smashed the head of the nearest scientific researcher. The bloody scene stunned everyone, staring blankly at the hideous monster in his sight. This is the power I seek, the power beyond the ultimate. Brownski, no, it should be called abomination. Abomination felt the surging power surging in the body, and said a little fascinated. His will is indeed as firm as General Ross said, but what General Ross doesn't know is that hatred is not for glory, but absolute power. After becoming an abomination, Brownski's first thought was not to be loyal to General Ross, but to defeat Hulk to prove his strength. As for the scientific researchers around, he hated the cold smile at the corner of his mouth. Naturally, he will not let these researchers go, otherwise they can create him, and they can also create another monster. It's better to make him unique with this powerful force. The world does not need so many strong people, it is enough to have his own. This is the hatred of thinking at this time, he has been affected by the Hulk serum. What followed was a bloody massacre. Under the power of hatred, all scientific researchers in the laboratory were killed, leaving no one alive. Then, eyes of disgust passed through the glass of the laboratory and met with the adjutant of General Rose. What happened to you? Why didn't you speak? General Rose's voice came from the phone, but the adjutant was speechless. The monster named Abomination had already arrived in front of him. The tall and hideous body made the adjutant lose all courage, leaving only the trembling instinct, and his mind was blank. With a pop, the adjutant was pinched to death by hatred, without mercy. He then leaned over and looked at the phone that fell to the ground, and recognized the name of General Rose. General, the adjutant will not answer you again. I have sent him to the embrace of God. Abomination said with a grinning smile, and General Rose fell silent in what was said. Although he didn't see it with his own eyes, General Rose probably guessed what happened. At the same time that I was angry, I also carried a sense of fortune. Fortunately, I left in time, but the consequences would be disastrous. You are, Colonel Brownski. General Rose asked the hatred through his cell phone. Disgust grinned. General, there is no Brownski in this world. From now on, there will only be hatred. After finishing speaking, hate stepped on the broken cell phone and walked in the direction of the exit. Gunfire accompanied by fire, screams accompanied by crying, this is the fate of this secret military base. On a busy street in Los Angeles, Yibai is hanging out holding Hella's hand.
Staying in the house for a long time every day will also be boring, and it's actually nice to walk out occasionally. Hila did not refuse, anyway, as long as she was with Yi Bai, she would not refuse. The two were just like the lovers on the road, holding hands, close together. Looking at the various shops and pedestrians around him, he whispered the little secrets between the two. This is the daily routine of Yi Bai and Hila. Show affection, spread dog food, and enjoy life. Suddenly, a cry came from the front of the street, accompanied by a violent explosion. Yi Bai looked there suspiciously, and found that many pedestrians started to run for their lives regardless of their image. What happened over there? Hila asked Yi Bai, with a little doubt in her eyes. Yi Bai also shook his head. Although he has super hearing, he can't drive it all the time, so tired. So Yi Bai is actually not clear about what happened at the end of the street. Could it be the characteristic of Eagle Sauce, the Zero Yuan purchase has begun. The dream of a shootout of 300 million people, a battle royale with a huge map, a happy shootout in a free country. Yi Bai almost laughed when he thought of those Yingjong jokes. But Yi Bai didn't plan to join in the fun, turned around and took Hila with him and planned to leave. He is not a superhero, so he can't be the first bird. And this is not his homeland. What does he care about the life and death of those free citizens? What Yi Bai didn't know was that at this moment, the entire Eagle Sauce country was paying attention to the City of Angels. Even many news media have sent helicopters to take pictures of the unrest in the City of Angels. I saw in the video that a hideous and ugly monster was wreaking havoc in the city. It was the abomination that had just escaped from the military base. In the face of hatred, the passing vehicles are no different from larger toys, and they are thrown away at will. As for the people in the car, if you are lucky, you can fall into a whole corpse, but if you are lucky, it will become a liquid and solid intermediate, in the form of a sauce. Hulk, get out of me. Disgust yelled loudly, he now desperately hopes to fight Hulk to prove that he is the most powerful existence. It's just a pity that instead of waiting for Hulk, his shouting waited for the military. General Rose completely played off, just like the previous Hulk, he created another monster that he couldn't control. The lesson that mankind can learn from history is that mankind will not learn any lessons. History does not repeat itself, but it often rhymes. This is the situation now, and General Rose made the same mistake again. Destroy him, before the loss has expanded to be unbearable. General Ross ordered the army. If the loss caused by hatred cannot be reduced to a minimum, then his future is at an end, and he will even go to a military court to stand trial if it is not good. The military of Yingjiang country is definitely one of the most elite military on earth. Both the quality and the weapons are first class on the earth. If this disturbance is a terrorist organization, then the military will come out and it can definitely be suppressed easily. Unfortunately, this time the military's opponent is a monster that shouldn't exist. Can human conventional weapons deal with Hulk? Obviously it cannot be done. In the same way, human conventional weapons cannot deal with hatred. Those most advanced weapons fell on the body of abomination, and even his skin could not be broken. Even if it is a big killer level missile, it makes hatred feel painful at most, that's all. On the contrary, many innocent civilians were affected by military attacks and died under weapons made by mankind. For a time, the entire city of angels was in a mess, and countless people cried and ran away. Yi Bai and Hila were already in the car at this time, leaving the area where the abomination was far away. Seeing the look of hatred and power in the mobile video, Yi Bai has an urge to laugh. The military of these eagle sauces is really. Shouldn't it be called the Marvel world? An ordinary person may become a disaster if he mutates. Living in such a world, the fate of ordinary people can be imagined. Not to mention the Cherita army invasion that will happen in later generations, the casualties caused by hatred alone are as high as tens of thousands. The danger of the Marvel world is evident. Maybe I should invest in a construction company. Yi Bai suddenly thought. From now on, it will be the era of superheroes, and damage similar to hatred will happen from time to time. If you set up a construction company, you will definitely have no business in the future. Of course, it's still just an idea. Yi Bai plans to wait until he returns to the Big Apple City to consider forming a company. As for stopping hatred from destroying the city, become a hero respected by the people. Sorry, 
Nibai is really not interested. Even if he had this ability, he wouldn't do it. He is not a saint, but a selfish traveler. Without hurting the lives of innocent people, they have already done their own thing. As for no matter how much, whoever loves to go. Moral kidnapping. Ha ha. Hila became more stable, and even studied the hatred in the video with great interest. She herself is the goddess of death, the most famous battlefield butcher in the Nine Realms. Expect Hila to become a hero to save the world. You might as well expect Satan to come out of hell and correct evil. This can be considered to a certain extent, it is not a family, no one enters the house. Unlike the calmness of Yi Bai and his wife, General Rose was almost crazy. You know that hatred is a monster he created, and all the damage caused by hatred will be counted on him in the end. If you can't get rid of hatred quickly, he will definitely not end well, and none of his political opponents will let him go. If hatred is not in the city of angels but in the wild, he even has the idea of using mushroom bombs. At this moment, his daughter Elizabeth Rose walked over with Banner. Elizabeth Rose is the girlfriend of Dr. Banner. Why did you bring him here? Didn't I lock him up? Seeing Banner following his daughter, General Rose couldn't help it. As an old father, he is instinctively hostile to all men close to his daughter, and Dr. Banner is no exception. Not to mention that Dr. Banner was still Hulk, and he was not treated by Rose. Father, now is not the time to care about these. We need to find a way to deal with hatred, don't we? Elizabeth Rose said to her father that General Rose did not pursue her release of Banner. As for Dr. Banner, he voluntarily asked to come over. Dr. Banner is different from Yibai. He is the kind of person who has the qualities of being a hero. He cannot tolerate the constant destruction of the city by hatred, because the birth of hatred is also related to him to some extent. And Dr. Banner knows that it is simply not realistic to rely solely on the military to solve the abhorrence. Only by letting Hulk come out can there be the possibility of a battle with hatred. Let me go, I can deal with that monster. Banner didn't sell it, but directly explained his intentions. He is going to summon Hulk, and let Hulk deal with hatred. Otherwise, the city of angels might be destroyed. No, the Hulk in your body has been suppressed, and you won't be able to get out in a short time. You are going to die, so you can't go. Rose rejected Banner's proposal without even thinking about it. He couldn't bear the risk of losing Hulk anymore. The hatred is no more, but Hulk has to hold it firmly in his hands. This is related to his future. When the two were in a stalemate, General Rose's cell phone rang. After he turned on the cell phone, his face quickly became pale. This call was made by a high-level military officer in order to accuse him of this mistake. In addition, he was also required to immediately resolve the abhorrence, and it was impossible for Yingjong to accept the destruction of the City of Angels. The City of Angels and the Big Apple City are the two largest super cities in Yingjong, and one is more important than the other. No matter which one is lost, it is a great injury to Yingjong. Of course, this kind of thing is not what Yingjong wants to see. After feeling the pressure from the top, General Ross was also silent. The current situation is urgent, and he can no longer hesitate any longer. He must respond immediately. Thinking of this, General Rose looked at Dr. Banner. Wish you all the best. General Rose agreed to Dr. Banner's request, and as expected, monsters should be used against monsters. As for the others, it's not too late to talk about it after the hatred is resolved. After obtaining the consent of General Ross, Dr. Banner also quickly boarded a military helicopter and started flying towards the location of Abomination. As for General Rose and his girlfriend Elizabeth, they did not follow. Would that big man be willing to put himself in a dangerous situation? Hulk, I'm reliable this time. Dr. Banner sat in the helicopter and said to Hulk inwardly. Now there is only one way to prevent Abomination from continuing to destroy, and that is to let Hulk deal with Abomination. As for whether Hulk is the opponent he hates, Dr. Banner actually doesn't have much confidence in his heart. Let's take one step at a time, what else can we do? Soon, Dr. Banner came to the sky above the City of Angels and saw the abomination that was wreaking havoc in the city. This hideous monster is ruining everything that can be seen unscrupulously, and the city is turned into ruins. Dr. Banner knew that he had to go. So without hesitation, he jumped directly from the helicopter and landed towards the loathing place below. 
After Yi Bai and Hila returned to the villa, they did not choose to take a break for the first time, but turned on the TV to watch the news. Yi Bai was not used to this in the past, but today it makes an exception. Sure enough, what was reported in the news was exactly what was hated. What's interesting is that now hate is no longer an ambiguous destruction of the city, but a fight with a green giant. Undoubtedly, this giant is Hulk. Nice fighter. Hila thought in her heart, whether it was hatred or Hulk, in Hela's eyes he was a fighter with good potential. If it can be put on the battlefield, it can definitely become a meat grinder. Of course, Hila just thought about these things in her heart. She was not ready to tell Yi Bai that she was actually a war madman. Yi Bai was also watching the battle between Hulk and Hatred, watching the fist to fight fight between the two super monsters. However, it was obvious that Hulk was completely at a disadvantage at this moment, and was beaten on the head by Hatred. It's not that Hulk is inferior to Hate, but before that, Hulk has been injected with inhibitors. Otherwise, the strength of Hatred is still much worse than Hulk. Not to mention that Hulk can be more angry and stronger. There are also those special modes of Hulk, which are not at the same level as Hatred. While watching the news, Yi Bai was also thinking about another thing. Let's go back to the Big Apple City in a few days. The City of Angels has been so damaged that it may be rebuilt for a long time in the future. Yi Bai suddenly said to Hila, planning to end this vacation. Hila nodded, no objection. Anyway, as long as Yi Bai goes, she will go wherever she goes. And in the City of Angels, on the battlefield of Hulk and Abomination. Two huge monsters are fighting with the most primitive methods, rough and barbaric, but they are particularly shocking. However, as the fight continues, Hulk has fallen into a comprehensive disadvantage. There were also many injuries on his body, and there were obviously signs of defeat. This time Hulk, can it be defeated like the original plot, no one can say that it is bad. Why, is that all? Aren't you crazy? Why don't it work now? Don't you think I am a bug? Disgust sneered at Hulk while suppressing Hulk. He waited for this day for too long, so he was very happy. This is power, fascinating and addictive. Although Hulk also roared again and again, but he was incompetent and furious, and he never made an effective counterattack. On the contrary, he was constantly hit by hatred, and the defeat became more and more obvious. Just when Hulk accidentally exposed his flaws and was about to be hated to seize the opportunity to expand his advantage, a thunder suddenly sounded. Then, against the backdrop of thunder, a hunk fell from the sky. Before he could react to the hatred, he was hit by a hammer from the heavens, and his whole body flew out. When the thunder light subsided, Thor appeared on the battlefield wearing a battle armor and a red cloak. It turned out that when Hatred was constantly destroying the City of Angels, the high-level humans approached Thor, hoping that Thor, who came from mythology, could help him. Considering that mankind still has the value of use, and that mankind treats Thor quite well, Thor agreed. After all, Thor himself was a militant, and he would certainly not object to being able to fight. The sudden appearance of Thor completely reversed the situation on the battlefield, and the abomination that had already secured the victory fell into a bitter battle instead. Thor and Hulk, each of them are not inferior to him in strength, and they are even much stronger. One-on-one -on -one is a bit reluctant, let alone one-on-two. -on Thor is the god of war in Asgard, fighting for hundreds of years and exaggerating with rich experience. In the face of such an opponent, it will only be a ghost if you hate it. In the villa, Yi Bai and Hila were also a little surprised when they saw Thor suddenly arrive. Is this the butterfly effect? The plot is completely different from the original. Yi Bai is a little better, just wondering if his appearance disrupted the original plot. Hila was different, staring at the hammer in Thor's hands with beautiful eyes. Mulnir, Thor's hammer. What few people know is that Mulnir was originally a weapon belonging to Hila, which was specially awarded to Hila by Odin. It was only after Hela and Odin fell out that the hammer was taken back by Odin, and now it fell into Thor's hands. This also explains the identity of Thor, a man of Asgard. Thinking of this, Hela's heart was agitated. It's really bad news to see the Asgardians on Earth. This made Hela understand that Asgard had noticed this small place in the atrium, and she would be discovered by the Asgardians sooner or later. At that time, maybe it will be a war. At this moment, Hila suddenly felt a sense of urgency, and she felt that there was not much time left for herself. 
Yi Bai and Hila are thinking about their own thoughts, but they are also silently paying attention to the situation of the battle. After Thor joined the battlefield, the end of hatred was doomed. Under the constant blow of Thor's hammer, hatred was getting more and more injuries and more serious. Soon, after Thor had knocked on the forehead of disgust, disgust couldn't hold on to it, and he was stunned. At this point, the disaster that affected the city of angels was over. After that is the finishing touch, which has nothing to do with Thor. After smiling at his teammate Hulk who was fighting side by side just now, Thor wielded his hammer and disappeared. Only the city of angels, which was in ruins after the war, and countless people wailing in the ruins. This is a real world, so it seems extra cruel. Behind the era of superheroes is the blood and tears of countless ordinary people. General Ross breathed a sigh of relief when he learned that hatred was suppressed. But my heart is also a little complicated, and some are unwilling. Abomination was a monster he carefully created, but it was smashed by a man with a hammer. Doesn't this mean that his creation and hard work are worthless? But the strength that Thor showed in his appearance was good news for General Rose. Because in this way, there is no need to worry about being punished by the top federal officials. The more powerful the Asgardians show, the more vigilant they will arouse humanity. Although the relationship between Asgard and humans is good for the time being, who knows what will happen in the future. It is certain to prepare early. Humans must ensure that they have the power to fight when facing Asgard. In this case, General Rose's plan appears to be very good. Although there are many drawbacks, the power of hatred is actually there. If you can create super fighters like hatred in batches, you can have a lot of confidence even in the face of Asgard. The impact of hatred is actually just beginning. On the second day after the incident ended, large-scale protest marches broke out in Yingjiang. The people of Yingjiang angrily accused the military and demanded an explanation for what they hated. Such a terrible monster must have a statement. But none of this has anything to do with Yi Bai. They have left the city of angels and returned to the seaside manor in Big Apple City. As for the hatred, Yi Bai didn't take it to heart. Anyway, the people of Yingjiang will get used to it sooner or later. And it didn't take long for Yi Bai to return to the manor, and after waiting for several days, Laser Eye came to the door. In addition to Laser Eye, there is another person who is more anxious than him, and that is Wolverine. God knows how miserable Wolverine has been these past few days. He woke up almost every morning and was dragged to Professor X's bedside, and then emptied of his body due to the little mischievous mutation ability. The vitality is used to extend the life of Professor X, lest Professor X die suddenly. Professor X's life was saved, but Wolverine was miserable. Every day, I feel sluggish, and it feels like I've been hollowed out. So after learning that Yi Bai had returned to his seaside manor, he couldn't wait to follow Laser Eye to the door of the manor. After pressing the doorbell, he and Laser Eye stood obediently at the door, waiting for Yi Bai to come out. This time Wolverine decided that if Yi Bai didn't agree to let Professor X go, he would kneel down to Yi Bai with a puff-like laser eye. Where Yi Bai went, he knelt down there. Soon, without letting laser eye and Wolverine wait too much, Yi Bai opened the door of the manor. Looking at the two hunks who came to find him, Yi Bai was a little puzzled. How did these two find themselves here? Could it be that you are here for trouble? But soon, the movement of the laser eye shocked Yi Bai. I saw the laser eye directly, puffed, and knelt in front of Yi Bai. This attitude, this speed, this is called professionalism. What do you mean? Yi Bai was completely confused. He originally thought it was to trouble him, but what if you knelt in front of me when you didn't agree? People who don't know think you are my son. Yi Bai, right. You'd better let the professor go quickly, otherwise I'll never end with you, and when you go there, I will kneel there. Laser Eye still used the most horizontal tone, speaking the most intimidating words. The shameless posture made Yi Bai a little bit dumbfounded. This is the first time I have heard of such threats. Looking at Yi Bai's unmoved appearance, Wolverine began to hesitate in her heart. Do you want to kneel down too? But the dignity of a macho made Wolverine decide to wait a little longer and see the situation. Professor X is on his own account, and he deserves it if he died. If you want to avenge him, just come to me. Funny to funny, Yi Bai is not that easy to be threatened. Based on what Professor X had done before, Yi Bai couldn't kill him too much. 
Even in Yi Bai's opinion, this is already a very benevolent approach. Otherwise, Yi Bai can use black magic to control Professor X's soul, which is called cruelty. You are right, this matter is the professor's fault first. But the professor is kind to me, I can't watch him die in front of me, so I kneel for you today. I just knelt and won't leave. Laser Eye also knows that they are not taking care of this matter, so there is no plan to retaliate against Yi Bai. Their X-Men have their own ethics and will not do such things. As for Professor X, although there was indeed a mistake, he really couldn't die. If the professor dies, the mutant children will die as well. The best result is to be arrested and do various experiments all day long. With this alone, the laser eye could not kill the professor. After hearing what the laser eye said, Yibai was really speechless. The key is that people's attitude is still very upright, and you will kneel down first when you come up. You really can't do anything to them. This feeling is like meeting a gangster. People are messing around and it's hard for you to handle it. Of course, this is also because Yi Bai has his own rules in his heart and is not willing to kill innocent people indiscriminately. Change to someone else, such as Hila, and maybe kill him without saying a word. After thinking about it, Yi Bai felt that it was better to just let it go. Anyway, Professor X has also learned a lesson. Although he will not die, he is also badly injured, and his body is basically useless. And it is estimated that after this time, Professor X will be much more honest. It is unlikely that Yi Bai will trouble him in the future. If you look for it again, I'm sorry, the laser eye is useless even if you kneel down, Yi Bai will definitely break his neck. After weighing inwardly, Yi Bai made a decision. It's okay to let him go, but you must remember that there can be no such thing a second time. If he doesn't know how to trouble me anyway, not only will he die, you guys don't even want to run. Although he decided to let Professor X go, he still had to give him the beating. Otherwise, if you have nothing to do, come to trouble yourself. Isn't that tiring? After listening to Yi Bai's words, Laser Eye nodded quickly, for fear that Yi Bai would regret it if he agreed to be slow. As for the conditions mentioned by Yi Bai, it must be executed unconditionally. There is no need to say more about Yi Bai, it is impossible for mutants to trouble Yi Bai. Such a terrible existence, who is impatient with life, come to find out about him. After seeing Laser Eye agreed, Yi Bai did not hesitate, and directly took back the curse from Professor X. Of course, Yi Bai still defended it. When he recovered the curse, he left a small black magic on Professor X. As long as Professor X intends to deal with Yi Bai in the future, the little black magic left behind will be triggered and directly kill Professor X. It depends on Professor X's own understanding. After solving the matter, Laser Eye took Wolverine and left here. Their purpose has been achieved, and there is no point in staying. You can't keep kneeling in front of Yi Bai, because their mutants also want face. After the two mutants left, Yi Bai closed the door again and returned to the house. It's still early, and he intends to find something to do for himself. Construction companies are not bad. There will be more and more superheroes in the future, so there is no need to worry about business. Thinking of this, Yi Bai began to use his contacts to find a helper to start the company. This construction company belongs to Yi Bai's ticketing nature, and even if it is established, it is also a shopkeeper. Yi Bai is only responsible for paying the money, and the specific operation and work are left to professionals to take care of. Otherwise, if it takes Yi Bai a lot of time, isn't it the end of the day? Yi Bai is not short of money, nor is he particularly eager to make money. It is purely to find something to do, so as not to be too boring. This is also related to Yi Bai's situation. Who made him get married early? If it weren't for Hila, Yi Bai would be as busy as Tony at various parties. But now that you have Hila, you have to take care of it. This is a man's responsibility. After taking Hila around for a while, Yi Bai lost the thought of going outside. I plan to stay at home with Hila for a few days in peace of mind. However, many times Yi Bai doesn't want to cause trouble, but the trouble will always come to his door. Aunt Lu, why are you here? Yi Bai, who was lying by the pool basking in the sun, asked a middle-aged Chinese woman suspiciously. This Auntie Lu is a nanny hired by Yi Bai, who cooks Sichuan cuisine well. 
Sometimes Yi Bai is too lazy to cook by himself, or if he has something to go out, he will let Aunt Lu come over to cook. However, it was the first time for me to go straight to the door without saying hello. Mr. Yi, I have something to trouble you. Aunt Lu was embarrassed, as if she had some difficulties, she was hesitant to speak. Seeing Aunt Lu's attitude, Yi Bai was also a little serious. He and Aunt Lu have a pretty good relationship. If Aunt Lu really encounters any difficulties, he can't help. If you have something to say slowly, I'll pay attention to you depending on the situation. Yi Bai said gently, but he didn't say it too hard either. If it is a matter of effort or no effort is needed, Yi Bai is not unreasonable to help. But if things are troublesome, Yi Bai needs to think about it. Aunt Lu didn't care about this. After hearing Yi Bai's comfort, her emotions became more stable. Then, Aunt Lu said things slowly. It was not Aunt Lu who had the accident, but Aunt Lu's son. Aunt Lu said that her son got into trouble recently and owed a lot of money, so he couldn't pay it back. Nowadays, people are detained by creditors, and people will kill them if they don't pay the money. Aunt Lu is just an ordinary person, where is so much money? In desperation, Aunt Lu found Yi Bai, hoping to ask Yi Bai for help, to see if he could get his son out first. Yi Bai has only heard of such a bad thing, but he did not expect it to happen. But Yi Bai didn't fully believe it, and even started to feel a little skeptical in his heart. Aunt Lu has a true son, but Aunt Lu's son is quite honest, and Yi Bai has also seen him. Will such a person owe others a large sum of money? What's more, what Aunt Lu meant was that she wanted Yi Bai to go out with her, which was also very unusual. Shouldn't it be normal to borrow money from Yi Bai? Could it be that it came for me? Yi Bai thought calmly, and the more he thought about it, the more he realized it was possible. Hasn't he been targeted by Lao Wan recently? As for Lao Wan's subordinates, if Yi Bai remembers correctly, there should be a mutant named Demon Girl. Thinking of this, Yi Bai's eyes became a little cold, and he was certain of the identity of this, Aunt Lu, in his heart. Okay, then I'll accompany you on a trip. I'll get people back first. Yi Bai smiled and said to the, Aunt Lu, in front of him, then greeted Hila and drove Aunt Lu away from the manor. Since people are deliberately trying to let Yi Bai pass, Yi Bai is not too good to give face. Just go and see what tricks these mutants are going to play. By the way, solving these troubles at once will save you troubles in the future. Seeing Yi Bai driving away with Aunt Lu in the car, Hela's eyes gradually became cold. Yi Bai has been stuck with her these days, and she has no time to do other things. With time today, Hila will naturally not waste it. As for the goal, Hila has actually planned it in her heart. Shield, mutant. Hila thought coldly. Shield and mutants are both troublesome in Hela's eyes and need to be resolved. Shield. Bureau will not talk about it. The black-hearted bitten egg provokes the feelings between their husband and wife before, this hatred Hila has always remembered. As for the mutants, if you dare to hit Yi Bai's attention, you should destroy them quickly. Silently, Hila disappeared in the manor. Shield. Building, Nick Fury office. Bittern has been very tangled recently, looking at the information in front of him, he feels helpless. The information is all the information about Hila that can be found, and this information also made Nick Fury firm one thing. That's Yi Bai's wife. Hila, who may be problematic in his opinion, is basically from Asgard. That's what Thor said some time ago, that sister. Nick Fury's entanglement also originated from this. Knowing that Hela is a real goddess, should he come in contact? Still don't touch it. If contacted, there is no suitable candidate and no suitable opportunity. Hela is too mad. If you don't touch, leave such a great god, Nick Fury's heart is not so big yet. Or, start with Yi Bai first, and then contact Hela. Nick Fury thought to himself that this was the best way he could think of. As for the relationship between Yi Bai and Hila, Nick Fury is completely out of ideas. He is a man of talent and beauty, does he need to be a monster to oppose? And he was also afraid that if Hila knew about the relationship between Yi Bai and his wife, his fate would definitely be miserable. Tony has shown the strength of Asgard, and God is not just talking about it. As Thor's sister, Hila would not be worse than Thor if she wanted to. To offend such a goddess, even Nick Fury feels stressful. Nick Fury sighed sadly. Then he looked up and saw Hela standing in front of him. 
The air suddenly calmed down, and Nick Fury even heard his own heartbeat. At this moment, Nick Fury even had the urge to slap himself in his heart, what a crow's mouth. What I was afraid of, just now I wondered if Hela would retaliate against him, but in the blink of an eye, people came to him. Hela coldly looked at the black marinated egg in front of her, her heart full of killing intent. This guy also provoked the relationship between her and Yi Bai some time ago, and this hatred must be reported. Hello, Ms. Hila, nice to meet you. Nick Fury said bluntly. Nick Fury naturally felt Hela's killing intent, and he was so flustered. If it weren't for the dark complexion, his face should be frightened as white now. Are you investigating me? Hila didn't care about Nick Fury's reaction, but looked at the information on the table. The person on the information, Hila is very familiar, and that is herself. This is where the responsibility lies, and I can't help it. Nick Fury gave a smile that was uglier than crying, and explained far-fetched. But you can rest assured that we will never harass Mr. Yi Bai and you in the future. Nick Fury knows exactly why Hila came. Obviously, Hila knew what he said to Yi Bai. At the same time, Nick Fury's brain is spinning rapidly, and he is now thinking about what to do to save his life. Nick Fury didn't know much about Hila, and even Hela's identity was heard from Thor. If Nick Fury knew Hela's past, knew that she had wiped out countless cosmic races. Maybe Nick Fury will not worry about his own life, but about whether human beings will still exist. Do you think you can forget about it if you admit it wrong? Hela sneered and didn't let Nick Fury's plan go. Does this black-hearted bitten egg know that when he provoked Yi Bai, Hila was almost not scared to death? If Yi Bai was really moved by Nick Fury and doubted her feelings, Hila would have a murderous heart. Perhaps in a rage, he would directly exterminate human beings. It's not that Hila can't do this kind of thing. So the humans on Earth are really lucky, Yi Bai's feelings for Hila are still very strong. As long as Yi Bai is a bit scumbag, human beings are basically gone. So Yi Bai saved all mankind and should be the greatest unsung hero. Although not as prestigious as other superheroes, Yi Bai's contribution to mankind is not lower than those of superheroes. Nick Fury didn't know that he almost became the chief culprit of the extinction of all mankind. But Nick Fury knows one thing, that is, if he fails to give Hila a satisfactory explanation today, he is probably going to be cold. Seeing Nick Fury who was still trying to find excuses, Hila shook her head. The Sword of the Night Sky has emerged in his hand, and Nick Fury is about to be killed. You are from Asgard. Suddenly, Nick Fury opened his mouth and said, successfully delaying Hela's movements and buying himself a short life. You know me. Hila did not deny, and there is no need to deny. Nick Fury nodded, and then said, Have you seen the battle in the City of Angels? The one with the hammer is Thor from Asgard. Nick Fury tried his best not to look at the sword of the night sky in Hela's hand, otherwise he was worried that he would not have the courage to continue. What then? Do you think I'm afraid? Hela hasn't done it yet, let's listen to what Nick Fury has to say. As for Thor, Hela is really disdainful. Thor, god of the hammer. Odin seemed to be really old, and he actually cultivated such a naive person. It seems that your relationship is not good, of course this is your business in Asgard. What I want to say is that Thor from Asgard is looking for you through human power. Nick Fury knew that it was useless to apologize at this time. Apologizing and begging for mercy when you are about to die will not increase your chances of living a little bit. What can really keep you alive is to show your worth. Valuable talents deserve to live, and Nick Fury, the king of agents, understands this deeply. Just like the Jin Bin who faced Yi Bai before, begging for mercy is useless. Showing one's value is the guarantee of survival. After listening to Nick Fury's words, Hila fell silent briefly. This is indeed a trouble. If Asgard really uses humans to find her, she will be found soon. The network of human society is so developed that there is no difficulty in finding someone at all. Seeing Hela's thoughtful look, Nick Fury knew that his chance to survive had come. So Nick Fury immediately said again. But don't worry, our shield still has a lot of energy. I can prevent Asgard from finding you easily. In exchange, a little conflict in the past can be assumed to have never happened, how? Nick Fury said as he died, if Hela didn't agree, he would really have to wait to die. Hela frowned, weighing inwardly. In fact, 
Hela doesn't care about being found by Asgard. Her injuries have basically recovered and her strength has returned to the peak. Facing Asgard, Hela was not afraid. And even if Asgard doesn't find her, she will find Asgard's trouble sooner or later. It is Yibai that really worries Hela. The more you care, the more afraid of loss. Hela is in this kind of psychology now. Hela did not want to reveal his identity before he could not confirm whether Yibai could accept his past. Although Yibai will know the truth sooner or later, Hila hopes that the truth will come as soon as possible. Looking at it this way, the deal proposed by Nick Fury is a bit worthwhile. Remember what you said, if I can't do it, I will find you at any time. Then you will never have the opportunity to speak. After Hila put a harsh word down, he disappeared in front of Nick Fury. She basically agreed with Nick Fury's statement and exchanged her life for Shield's help. Nick Fury will hide her identity and will not let Asgard find her easily. If S.H.I.E.L.D. cannot do this, Hela will not give Nick Fury any chance to speak. After confirming that Hela was gone, Nick Fury's tense nerves suddenly relaxed. It wasn't until this time that Nick Fury realized that his back had been wet with cold sweat. The pressure Hela gave was really too great. That is a real goddess, whose strength is beyond measure. If you really want to kill him, it's probably as easy as crushing an ant. Among the people Nick Fury knows, there is only one Captain Marvel who can fight Hela. It's a pity that Captain Marvel is not on Earth all year round, and now I don't know which galaxy he has gone to. After experiencing Hela, Nick Fury deeply understood a truth. What is the use of your power? Without strength, you are still the meat on the chopping board. Perhaps, we can consider cooperating with General Ross. Nick Fury thought to himself. Originally, he did not agree with General Rose's super soldier serum plan, but now it seems that this plan is necessary. Humans need to have the confidence to say no when facing such a powerful civilization as Asgard. After solving the shield issue, Hela did not immediately return to the manor. But after finding the place of the mutant brotherhood, he rushed over. The place where the mutant brotherhood hides is an abandoned factory in the suburbs. When Hela came here, there were only more than 20 mutants gathered here, and most of the mutants had already gone out. In the face of these mutants, Hela didn't even bother to speak, and immediately began to kill. Give Nick Fury a chance to speak because Nick Fury has not harmed he by. These mutant brotherhoods are different. Facing these people who dared to beat ye by's attention, Hela didn't hesitate, and didn't even need to listen to the explanation, and the killing was over. There are more than 20 mutants with various mutant abilities. Put it elsewhere, this is a force that cannot be underestimated. But in front of the great demon King Hela, it makes no sense at all. From Hela's hands to the end, within 10 seconds, the mutants were all destroyed. It's a pity that there are some small shrimps here, the core members of the true mutant brotherhood, and they don't know where to go anymore. Let's go back to Yibai's side. After arriving at the designated place with Aunt Lu, Yibai got out of the car with Aunt Lu. This is a relatively remote warehouse located in the slums of Big Apple City. It's in there, isn't it? Standing outside the warehouse door, Yibai asked Aunt Lu. Aunt Lu nodded, and motioned Yibai to enter quickly with her eyes. Seeing this scene, Yibai strengthened his opinion in his heart and sneered in his heart. Without entanglement, he walked in directly. With a, clamp, Aunt Lu, who was following Yibai, directly locked the door after Yibai entered the warehouse. Then, a group of strange-looking mutants walked out of the corner and looked at Yibai maliciously. The reason why mutants are not accepted by human society has a lot to do with their looks. One by one looks, willful and reckless, as if they are a combination of animals and humans. Only a small number of mutants seem to be indistinguishable from humans. And this kind of mutant is usually more powerful than the, Waigwa split jujube. At the same time, an old man in his 60s wearing a metal helmet slowly walked from the back to Yibai. Yibai knows that this person is no accident Magneto. Mr. Yibai, admiring your name for a long time, I am glad to see you in a place like this. Magneto greeted Yibai in a self-feeling manner. This calm posture, as if everything is under control. Magnetic King, I've been admiring a great name for a long time. Yibai smiled and greeted Magneto, but the coldness in his eyes became more obvious. This time it was Magneto's turn to be surprised. 
It's not surprising that Yi Bai knows his identity, this is normal. He has done so many things over the years, and I don't know how many headlines have been posted. It's not surprising that Yi Bai can recognize him. What really surprised Magneto was that Yi Bai knew that his identity was still so calm. Could it be that there was something to rely on? Thinking of this, Magneto glanced at the devil behind Yi Bai, as if asking what was going on. The magical girl shook her head, nothing happened along the way, and it went smoothly. At this time, the devil's disguise has been lifted, and it is no longer the appearance of a middle-aged Chinese woman, and has become a normal form. After seeing the witch's answer, Magneto didn't care. Even if Yi Bai really has anything to rely on, he is not afraid, everyone is in his hands, and he can still run away. Thinking of this, Magneto looked at Yi Bai again. I have to admit that Yi Bai is a bit too calm. The malicious eyes of the mutants around him seemed to be turning a blind eye. This gradually gave Magneto a bad premonition in his heart. But Magneto still spoke. We hope that you, Mr. Yi Bai, can display a humanitarian spirit and support our mutant movement. In addition, we also hope that you will speak up for the mutants and say something for us mutants. Magneto's kindness said, if you are an unknowing person, you might think Magneto is a kind old man. But Yi Bai sneered and said it was really nice. Isn't it just asking Yi Bai to give money and Yi Bai to speak for their mutants? To put it bluntly, it's not because of Yi Bai's family property and Yi Bai's huge social influence. What if I say I don't? Yi Bai said indifferently, but the patience in his heart is getting less and less. If you refuse, then you are the enemy of our mutants. The way we treat the enemy, I believe Mr. Yi Bai you wouldn't want to see it. Magneto also tried to see him poorly, and when he saw that Yi Bai was not so good to talk, he started to threaten directly. If Yi Bai is just an ordinary person, there is really nothing to do. Either be squeezed out of property and fame, and then ruined. Either to be tortured to death, but also to be robbed of property and fame, which is even worse. Unfortunately, Yi Bai is no ordinary person. Almost at the moment Magneto threatened, Yi Bai stretched out his hand like lightning and directly pinched Magneto's neck. Then he mentioned Magneto directly. A long-range mage, why does he like to come and jump in front of me? Yi Bai sneered and said to Magneto. Magneto is not weak, but he has one of the biggest shortcomings, that is, his physique is too poor. Compared with ordinary people, Yi Bai can easily pinch to death with such an existence. If Magneto is more cautious and hides in the distance, Yi Bai may have to spend some extra effort to make Magneto struggle twice. Unfortunately, this guy jumped too much. Is it because of Gandalf's influence that he became obsessed with melee combat? One stock, Magneto's actor and Gandalf were the same person, a melee mage. Hearing Yi Bai's spit, Magneto wanted to say something, but at this time, he was caught by Yi Bai's neck and couldn't even breathe. I can only pinch Yi Bai's hand with both hands, trying hard to break free of Yi Bai's control. But Yi Bai's hands are like steel tongs, and he can't shake them anymore. The sudden change made all the mutants unexpected that their leader was directly captured by Yi Bai. And seeing Magneto's face flushed, Yi Bai would be choked to death if she didn't let go of Magneto. At this time, the fastest response is undoubtedly the magician girl. She directly drew out a shiny dagger, and then thrust it towards Yi Bai's back. With a sound of, Kang, the dagger broke, as if it had been stuck on the hardest steel. Yi Bai turned his head and glanced at the bewildered devil girl, showing a cruel sneer. Then the hand holding Magneto's neck was slightly forced and twisted. With a click, Magneto's shin was directly twisted, Magneto's body also hung limply. Dead, a generation of heroes, the leader of mutants, Magneto, who has been in the world for decades, just died. Yi Bai's face remained unchanged, as if he squeezed an ant to death, he casually threw Magneto's body aside. There is no psychological burden for Yi Bai to kill Magneto. It was this guy who came to look for himself, and when he died, he asked for himself. Yi Bai is not a good gentleman, and there is no plan to let Magneto go to trial. Just pinch it to death, it's a simple matter. Even if Professor X provokes himself, Yi Bai can be cruel to kill him, let alone Magneto. As for these mutants, to be honest, Yi Bai doesn't plan to let it go. Don't look at how miserable the mutants are in the movie, but they all asked for it. 
There may be innocents among the mutants, but none of the members of the Brotherhood of Mutants. These are lunatics who follow Magneto and are extremely hostile to human society. What? Surprised? Don't worry, it will be your turn soon. Looking at the incredible devil, Yi Bai said cruelly, and then suddenly attacked and killed the mutants around. Yi Bai has fully integrated the template of General Zod and is a powerful general of Kryptonians. Not to mention the entire universe, at least Yi Bai has no rivals on Earth. The Supreme Master Ji Yu Yi may be able to pose a little threat to Yi Bai, after all, the Kryptonian magic resistance is low. But in Yi Bai's eyes, these mutants are all lambs to be slaughtered, and they can't even resist. The fairy girl, whose real name is Rui Winduckholm. He was adopted by Professor X since he was a child, and he was regarded as Professor X's childhood sweetheart. But later, due to the inconsistency of ideas, the magical girl left Professor X and followed Magneto. For the great cause of mutants, the magic girl dared to do anything and take any risks. But what the magician girl didn't expect was that it would be herself that would make the mutant brothers fall into ruin. Looking at the mutants in the warehouse who had been completely killed by Yi Bai, the magical girl trembled, angry and frightened. She couldn't think that Yi Bai, a guy who seemed harmless to humans and animals, would be so cruel. From the beginning to the end, a total of less than one minute. More than 30 elite mutants from the Brotherhood were killed by Yi Bai in seconds. And she was the last survivor. Looking at Magneto, who had no life on the ground, the devilish girl felt a sense of collapse in her faith. She even became confused in her heart, not knowing how to go on the road in the future. But she doesn't need to think about this issue anymore, Yi Bai won't give her a chance. Yi Bai came directly to the devil girl, then pinched her neck with one hand and lifted her from the ground. In the face of his own enemies, Yi Bai never relents. Yi Bai still understands the truth of the spring breeze. The devil girl who was pinched by her neck and plunged into suffocation and pain was struggling desperately. At this moment, the instinct for survival prevailed. Suddenly, the thin blue scales on the devil's body fluctuated. The witch also quickly changed into another look, a look that Yi Bai was very familiar with, Hila. The scene suddenly became Yi Bai pinching, Hila, by the neck. Seeing the charming eyes of, Hila, in front of him begging for mercy, Yi Bai did get a little shaken. No matter how cruel Yi Bai is, he can't kill Hila. The magical girl played this play, it can be said to be very effective. It's just a pity that Yi Bai still doesn't plan to let her go. Everyone is an adult, and they are responsible for what they have done. Now that you have chosen this path, you must be prepared to die at any time. Just as Yi Bai was about to smash the devil's neck, her expression suddenly changed, just like she had suddenly changed her person. Mr. Yi Bai, please let Rui Wen go. She is just being bewitched, and her heart is not bad. The witch-shaped girl suddenly spoke, in a very sophisticated tone. Professor X. Yi Bai asked tentatively, guessing that the old hooligan might have controlled the magical woman's mind. It's me, I'm sorry that we have had a very unpleasant thing before, and I solemnly apologize to you again. But Ruiwen is my childhood friend, I can't watch her die without being indifferent. So I beg you humbly, let her go this time, I promise she won't remember anything about you, and will never trouble you again. Professor X controlled the witch's body and pleaded with Yi Bai. Professor X knew what happened here when Magneto was killed by Yi Bai. After understanding the cause and effect of the matter, Professor X killed Magneto again. You die by yourself, why do you take Rywin with you? Of course, Magneto is dead, and Professor X is also very distressed. After all, he is a good friend of his own. But Yi Bai started too quickly, and Professor X was useless even if he wanted to intercede. At the same time, Professor X also understands that Yi Bai cannot be blamed at all for this matter. It can only be said that Professor X has a bad life and has found a hard time. After listening to Professor X's words, Yi Bai sneered, but did not agree. Why should he give Professor X face? Just because Professor X has less hair. It's undeniable that bald heads are all gangsters, don't you see that even Thanos is bald? But Yi Bai is now stronger and even bigger. So even with Professor X's plea, Yi Bai's murderous intent to the devil's girl has not diminished in the slightest. Only a dead enemy is a good enemy. Mr. Yi Bai, I beg you not to kill her. 
I can pay the price, how about the shares of Stark Industries? I have 1.2% in my hands and I can give you all of it. I will also wash away Ruiwen's memory and promise that she will not have anything to do with you, and will definitely not cause you any trouble. Professor X felt Yi Bai's killing intent and quickly spoke. For the magical girl, Professor X even willingly gave up an astronomical wealth, which shows that Professor X still attaches great importance to feelings. At the same time this guy is really rich. This is also normal. With the ability of mind control, how could Professor X have no money? Even the current Yi Bai and Professor X can only be regarded as poor. Yi Bai thought for a while about Professor X's proposal, and he was indeed a little excited. This is a sky-high price for a percent stake in Stark Industries. You must know that the current market value of Stark Industries Group is more than 700 billion US dollars, and 1% is 7 billion. Who doesn't like this kind of wealth? And Professor X promised to wash away the memory of Devil Girl, and will not trouble Yi Bai again. This also reduced Yi Bai's many killing intent. And what kind of storms can be upset by a devilish girl? If Professor X is smart enough, he should not come to provoke him again, otherwise there is only a dead end. Thinking of this, Yi Bai had a plan in his heart. You succeeded in persuading me, then, the deal is concluded. As he said, Yi Bai released his palm and let the magic girl fall to the ground. Then he went on to say, I will let my manager contact you, I hope you can say it, don't play tricks. After speaking, Yi Bai stopped paying attention to the situation of the devil, turned around and left the warehouse. As for how Professor X cleans the devil's memory, it is not Yi Bai's business. This trip not only solved the potential threat of the Brotherhood of Mutants, but also gained a lot of wealth by the way. Yi Bai was very satisfied and drove towards his manor with a smile. As for the magical girl, she was lying on the ground with her eyes blank, and the memory in her mind was quickly being deleted. Although Professor X is a good person, he is not soft when he should be cruel. Otherwise, how could a good old person protect so many mutants? Really think those military and politicians are easy to deal with. Yi Bai didn't struggle with this matter for too long, it was just an episode in his life. With this effort, it's better to think about how to deepen your relationship with Hila. Speaking of it, with Yi Bai's efforts recently, Hila seems to be a bit bigger. Although it is not obvious, Yi Bai can feel it. After all, he has personally experienced it every day. This is a good start, Yi Bai decided to continue his efforts and strive to train a big Hila as soon as possible. Then there is no need to worry that the child will be hungry. Not long after Yi Bai left, the Storm Girl of the X-Men came to this warehouse. Pushing open the warehouse door, after seeing so many mutant corpses inside. Even people like Storm Girl who have seen big scenes are shocked. What followed was fear from the depths of the soul. The X-Men has the most say in how powerful Magneto's mutant brothers will be. Head to head, the X-Men may not win. But such a powerful force was actually killed by Yi Bai alone. Looking at the broken walls and the smashed steel in the warehouse, Storm Girl understood for the first time what a god of the world is. Aurora, bring Rywin back. As for those mutants, I will deal with them. Professor X told Stormgirl that although Professor X did not arrive at the scene, he could still imagine the tragic coming of the scene. If it had been known that Magneto would end up like this, Professor X would stop them no matter what. Unfortunately, there is no if in the world, everyone has to pay for their choice. If Magneto didn't keep an eye on Yi Bai's wealth, he would not be killed. The storm girl didn't say anything, silently picked up the devilish girl who had passed out in a coma, and left the warehouse. After this war, the name Yi Bai has completely become a taboo among mutants, and no one dares to touch it again. The threat of mutants was completely resolved with the actions of Yi Bai and Hila. I believe that after the lessons of Professor X and Magneto, there should be no one who is not afraid of death to provoke Yi Bai again. In addition, Nick Fury of S.H.I.E.L.D. had just been warned by Hila, and he did not dare to provoke Yi Bai again. Yi Bai and Hila also lived a stable life. In a short period of time, no one with a long eye will come to trouble them. Sign in successfully, reward the ancient Ruin Day template. One morning, Yi Bai woke up and opened his eyes. Before he could push Hela's jade arm away from him, he heard such a sentence. 
Some sleepiness disappeared instantly, replaced by endless excitement. After checking in for many days of weird and useless items, Yibai finally got a strong reward again. Ancient Destruction Day, I am invincible. Forcibly resisting the excitement of shouting, Yibai was ecstatic in his heart. Others may not know what the Ancient Destruction Day is, but Yibai knows it very well in his heart. Speaking of the Day of Ancient Destruction, many people will think of a movie, Superman vs. Batman. The Superman in there was killed by the Doomsday and died together. But what needs to know is that the Day of Destruction in that movie is not the Day of Ancient Destruction. The doomsday that killed Superman in the movie was bred using the genes of the ancient doomsday and the Krypton gene of General Zod. It is a fake copy and is incomparable with the original. The true ancient day of destruction was born in the research room of Kryptonian scientists. This is a killing machine created by Kryptonian scientists, a true ultimate life form. Cannot be killed, cannot be destroyed. Even if he was thrown into a black hole and resisted the Big Bang, he would not die. Any attack method will only be effective on the day of ancient destruction the first time, and will be completely immune after the second time. Moreover, any form of attack may lead to the evolution of the ancient destruction day and become more powerful. Simply put, this is an unsolvable life that cannot be killed, and the stronger the attack, the stronger it is. One can imagine how powerful this template ye by got, and he can even clearly feel his body starting to grow stronger. This is because the Ancient Destruction Day will evolve on its own, and it will evolve many times in a very short period of time. I was still worried about the five great creation gods and other cosmic gods, but now it seems completely worthwhile. Yi Bai thought with satisfaction, and the confidence in his heart has become more fulfilled. General Zod's template is indeed very powerful, after all, General Zod's gene is the Kryptonian god of war. But General Zod is not a superman has no life code, and cannot evolve continuously. To put it bluntly, General Zod has the limit of potential, and Yibai has gradually felt this limit. In the past few days, Yibai couldn't improve much even if he was in the sun. In the final analysis, the reason was that it had reached the growth ceiling of General Zod's template. I want to go up again, unless I get the Superman's life code. But this is the Marvel Universe, and there is no Superman, Yibai just can't get it if he wants to grab it. Originally, Yibai wondered if he should look for opportunities to collect infinite gems, so as to enhance his strength. After all, ordinary Kryptonians like General Zod can still walk sideways on the Earth, but if the opponent is those cosmic gods, it will be a bit hanged. But now, this is completely unnecessary. The template of the Ancient Day of Destruction gave Yibai plenty of confidence. Even if Thanos holds the infinite gloves, he cannot be Yibai's opponent now. In a dangerous world like Marvel, there is nothing more happier than improving your own strength. After all, with the strength, Yibai can not only protect himself, but also protect his wife Hila. What's wrong with you? You giggled early in the morning. At this time, Hila also regained consciousness and opened her eyes to see Yibai silly alone. Yibai didn't explain, the system and traversal were his biggest secrets. He didn't tell anyone, even Hila. So in the face of Hela's complaints, Yibai just smiled and didn't explain much. Hila didn't care either, just simply asked. Go get something to eat, I'm hungry. Hila pushed Yibai like a coquettish, and said charmingly. Hila, who had just woken up, lost the usual coldness, and was a little more confused and charming, more attractive than usual. Yibai is also ready to move, and has a bold idea to implement it. We will eat later, it's still dark, we will sleep again. Yibai said with a smile, and did bad things neatly. After struggling with resistance for a few times, Hila gave Yibai a blank look, then closed her eyes and let Yibai mess up. Soon, the movement of life began to sound. After being satisfied, Yibai quickly entered the state of a sage and began to prepare for lunch. Why is it lunch? Do you still need to talk about it? Of course, you overslept. After being tossed by Yi Bai, Hila fell asleep completely, and now she can't wake up. Yi Bai didn't care, it was really difficult for her today, too excited. The appearance of the ancient day of destruction template made Yi Bai feel more confident in his heart suddenly, and he didn't worry about anything anymore. Moreover, his body is much stronger than before, completely surpassing General Zod's template limit. 
Yi Bai doesn't know exactly how strong it is now. Because there is no opponent, Yi Bai doesn't know if he can beat the five gods with one punch now. Shield, the office of Alexander Pierce. Pierce has been searching for information about Hila during this time. The expression of Nick Fury at that time, Pierce has a deep memory. Also let Pierce know that Nick Fury must know something. It's just that Nick Fury moved too fast, almost immediately setting Yi Bai and Hela's information to the highest level of confidentiality. Unfortunately, in the Snake Shield Bureau, nothing can be hidden from him. After a lot of hands and feet, Pierce got the information of Yi Bai and Hila as he wished. The first is Yi Bai's, from the initial encounter with Daredevil, until Yi Bai killed Magneto and a bunch of mutants recently. Pierce was terrified to see that such a terrifying existence was actually a super rich man. In fact, it's not just Pierce, Nick Fury was also taken aback when he learned about Magneto. It wasn't until then that Nick Fury realized that neither of Yi Bai was easy to provoke. Ahila, the god of Asgard, whose strength is immeasurable. A Yi Bai, Magneto who killed one of the most powerful mutants on the planet, is also a dangerous element. I really complied with the old saying, not a family, don't enter a family. Later, Pierce saw Hela's information again. Compared with Yi Bai's extensive information, Hela's information is much less. The main reason is that Hela's time to come to Earth is too short, and there is not much to study at all. But what shocked Pierce was Hela's identity. The god of Asgard, the goddess of death. Good guys, these two couples are better than the other. Pierce had no other ideas, let alone any other ideas. No matter how powerful the Hydra is, it is only an organization established by mortals. Can it be compared with God? Forget it, don't provoke these two people. Pierce sighed and shook his head, and turned off the information for Hela and Yi Bai. There is no need to look anymore, and I dare not do anything. Pierce is not a fool, he knows he can't provoke him, but he wants to join him. Isn't that just looking for death? Not everyone is as stupid as mutants. But suddenly, an immature idea emerged in Pierce's mind. Maybe, 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 their Hydra can really come in contact with Hela. Of course, not to die, but to take refuge. No, how could I have this idea? Hydra serves the hive of the great alien god, and will never abandon his beliefs. Pierce's thoughts just arose, and he immediately dispelled it. You must know that Hydra's purpose has always been to meet his own god. Hydra can be traced back to 1400 years ago, when it was created by a stranger named, Hive. Later, the Hive was exiled to a distant unknown planet, and Hydra lost its leader. In order to welcome back to his god, Hydra runs a thousand-year-old plan, the, Far Star Project. The core content of the plan is to bring the Hive back from a distant alien planet and re-lead the Hydra to rule the Earth. But until now, the, Far Star Project, has not officially started, mainly because Hydra hasn't even figured out which planet the, Hive, was exiled to. By now, Hydra basically has no expectations for the, Distant Star Project. Maybe, I should ask other people's opinions. Pierce thought of it suddenly. Hydra is a very large organization with many branches. Each branch has a leader, and Pierce is the leader of the Snake Shield branch. In addition, there are some other leaders. Pierce's discussion also refers to these leaders. Soon, Pierce secretly contacted the leaders of several other Hydra divisions and expressed his plans and thoughts. Originally, Pierce was ready to be scolded. After all, his plan was a betrayal of faith. What Pierce didn't expect was that the leaders of several other branches actually asked him to give it a try. Ah, this. Isn't Hydra loyal to the, Hive? You all want to betray one by one. Ah, I took the lead, then it's okay. In fact, this is also normal. The, Beehive, has disappeared for 1400 years. After such a long time, there is no loyalty to speak of. And Hela's card is big enough, the goddess of death, just suitable to become the new god of Hydra. Of course, the main reason is that Hydra urgently needs to find a backer. Don't look at the fact that Hydra is now very powerful, there are many secret branches, and even Shield has been infiltrated. But in fact, Hydra is far worse than its heyday, and now it is just lingering. It's like walking a tightrope. Once Shield reacts and discovers Hydra, it will immediately be able to make Hydra's years of hard work in vain. An organization cannot be as powerful as a country. During the heyday of the Hydra, 
There was a strong empire to support it, and that was the fundamental reason why the Hydra was so prosperous. As for now, you can ask, is there any country that supports Hydra? After getting the replies from the leaders, Pierce began to think carefully about the possibility of surrender. If you really succeed in surrender and get Hellas back, then Hydra will be stable in the future and embrace Asgard's thigh. If you fail, the consequences will be serious, and you can basically consider hiding. The risks and benefits are great, so Pierce is not cautious. After thinking about it for a long time and analyzing it over and over again, Pierce was determined to try it. Hold the courageous to death, starve the cowardly to death. Thinking of this, Pierce gave instructions to one of his agents to contact Hela first. As for the success or failure, it depends on God's will. Hydra, always loyal to goddess Hela. Pierce said softly with a smile, and prayed that this contact would be successful. Yi Bai received a strange invitation today, somewhere in the Big Apple City. Yi Bai didn't intend to pay attention to the invitation, but after seeing the signature, he changed his attention. At the end of the invitation letter, the signature is, Master Ji Yu Yi. As the protector of the earth, Ji Yu Yi, known as the Supreme Mage, Yi Bai feels that he still needs to respect it. Moreover, Ji Yu Yi also kept the time gem, and Yi Bai felt that he should go there. After saying hello to Hila and agreeing to come back earlier, Yibai set off. And soon arrived at the destination, the temple located in the Big Apple City. There are three temples in Kamataj, which are located in Wudu, Big Apple City and Shangjong. Every temple has a special magic that ordinary people can't see. Of course, Yibai must be able to see it, so Yibai walked into the temple of Big Apple City. Walking into the temple, a quaint aura hits his face. It can be seen that this temple is definitely hundreds of years old. As Yi Bai entered the temple, a mage came up. Guest, the supreme mage is already waiting. This mage was not the one who appeared in the movie, so Yi Bai didn't care. After nodding, he followed the mage into the depths of the temple. Soon, a golden circle appeared in front of Yi Bai. This should be the portal. Please. The mage respectfully said to Yi Bai. Yi Bai hesitated, but decided to go in and take a look. For one thing, the strength is strong enough, and I don't worry about being disadvantaged by the ancients. Secondly, Yi Bai also wanted to know what purpose Ji Yu Yi had in inviting him over. After entering the portal, Yi Bai found himself on the top of a snow mountain. In front of him, a man in a robe of a wizard with a hood turned his back to him. After sensing that someone was coming, the man turned around and looked at Yi Bai. It is the Supreme Master Ji Yu Yi. Hello, Mr. Yi Bai. Ji Yu Yi nodded politely to Yi Bai and greeted him. Yi Bai did the same. After greeting, he began to inquire about Ji Yu Yi's purpose. Supreme Mage, I don't know if you invited me over. Is there anything wrong? Yi Bai asked bluntly, a little curious about Ji Yu Yi's purpose. Don't worry, just get to know and make friends. I have no ill will towards you. Ji Yu Yi smiled and said to Yi Bai, his expression calm and his eyes clear. It seems that there is really no malice towards Yi Bai. But Yi Bai didn't fully believe it either. He had to be defensive. After coming to the Marvel world, Yi Bai discovered that the world is not as beautiful as he imagined. Superheroes are not as great as they seem in the movies. For example, the former Professor X was an old hooligan. Make friends, there is no need for such a big battle. Mirror space, do you want to trap me here? Yi Bai said coldly, he didn't easily believe it because of his status as the supreme master. Moreover, this is a mirrored space. Except for Yi Bai and Ji Yu Yi, Yi Bai can't feel any other life in the whole world. This is not the attitude of making friends, it's more like trying to shoot yourself. Ji Yu Yi shook his head, still in that calm posture. It's really making friends. I'm very interested in you. To be honest, your previous performance scared me. Ji Yu Yi's words revealed a message that she had already been paying attention to Yi Bai. I also know that Yi Bai's strength is very strong, the kind of strong and excessive. What Ji Yu Yi didn't know was that Yi Bai is definitely stronger than she had guessed. Speak up if you have something to say, no need to bend around. If you really want to make friends, you won't bring me to the mirror space. The more Ji Yu Yi said, the more Yi Bai confirmed his guess. This supreme mage really intends to deal with him. But Yi Bai is not afraid. 
He doesn't know how strong he is now, but it is definitely not something that Ji Yuyi can resist. Well, I was asked by an old friend, but I don't plan to shoot you, it will only make us completely antagonistic. What about a bet? If you break free of this mirrored space, I will teach you all the magic I know. If you can't break free, don't worry, I will let you go in a month. Ji Yuyi stated his purpose, a gamble. As for the old friend in her mouth, she didn't say anything, and didn't plan to tell Yi Bai. And Yi Bai, after listening to Ji Yuyi's gambling game, there was no fluctuation in his heart, and he even wanted to laugh a little. With this mere mirrored space, I hope to trap him, is it because Ji Yuyi is too bloated, or he feels that he is too weak? And he has entered the mirror space now, do you bet that he has the final say? Even if Yi Bai didn't want to bet, he wouldn't be able to get out, he had no choice at all. However, it seems that Ji Yuyi did not have any malicious intent towards him, at most he wanted to detain him for a month. This is why. Will something big happen in this month? Yi Bai had to think more about it. At the level of the Supreme Master, each one is simple. Anything you do has her deep meaning, and you have to be careful not to be fooled. As for the spells of the Ancient One, Yi Bai doesn't care, but it's not bad to get them. After all, the portal is really convenient, and there is money left to buy a plane. Then the gambling begins, I look forward to your performance. Ji Yuyi smiled, then his body burst and turned into countless butterflies, disappearing in this mirrored space. As for Yi Bai, he shook his head helplessly. Knowing it would be so troublesome, he would not agree to Ji Yuyi's invitation. Now that something has happened, Yi Bai no longer hesitates. Isn't it just a mirrored space? What's the point? Yi Bai didn't make much movement, just made a fist and then raised it. Finally, it aimed at the ground under his feet and smashed it down. With a boom, there was a loud roar. At the foot of Yi Bai's snow capped mountains, large cracks appeared directly. The mountain began to fall off and was knocked out by Yi Bai with a punch. This is just the beginning. Now Yi Bai has no idea how destructive a punch can be. But one thing is certain, that is, the earth can be easily shattered. Yi Bai's punch not only knocked the snow capped mountains apart, but the huge force spread along the mountain to the surface. Then, Countless terrible cracks spread out like a spider web centered on the snow mountain. These cracks on the ground are still expanding and getting deeper and deeper. Gradually, even the crustal plates began to crack, and the basic structure of the entire earth began to collapse. Endless magma rushed to the earth along the cracks, and the originally peaceful world suddenly became hell. Countless magma ignited the whole world. Loud noises kept coming, followed by terrible earthquakes. The crustal plates began to collapse, and the entire continent began to disintegrate. In the end, the entire planet exploded and turned into gorgeous fireworks. So far, this mirror space has also been broken, and Yi Bai won. After breaking the mirror space, Yi Bai broke free from that space and appeared in front of Ji Yi. This is the real world, Yi Bai is on a snowy mountain at this time, in Kamataj. Your performance is much stronger than I expected. Ji Yuyi said truthfully, she saw Yi Bai shatter the mirror world. That world is actually the earth, which was built by the ancient one based on the ratio of the earth to one. Yi Bai can smash the mirror world with one punch, which means that Yi Bai can also smash the entire earth with one punch. Even Ji Yuyi was frightened by such destructive power. Are you going to gamble? Yi Bai didn't talk, but looked at Ji Yuyi coldly and said, he didn't want to conflict with Ji Yu, but it didn't mean he was afraid of Ji Yu Yi. Ji Yu Yi didn't really hit him, otherwise he would not hit the mirror space with one punch. No need, you are stronger than I thought. Ji Yu Yi looked at Yi Bai, shook his head and said. As a bet, I will teach you all my magic, as long as you are willing to learn. I won't ask you to do anything. I just hope you won't be so angry in the future. There is only one earth. Ji Yu Yi looked at Yi Bai and said with a smile. She has always been so calm, even in the face of Yi Bai. Not to mention other things, Yi Bai is convinced by this attitude alone. Let's talk about magic, I am going back now, I will come to you again when I have a chance. Yi Bai didn't want to stay longer, and didn't plan to befriend the old school. No need, as long as Ji Yu Yi doesn't bother him. Ji Yu Yi did not stop him this time, but took the initiative to send Yi Bai back to the temple in Big Apple City. 
It wasn't until Yi Bai completely left that Ji Yuyi's mouth showed a smile. From the very beginning, Ji Yuyi didn't expect the mirror space to trap Yi Bai. It might be possible to use the infinite loop of time gems. But it's not necessary. If you really want to do this, Yi Bai will definitely blow up the hair. Maybe it is not good to smash the earth. Moreover, that Ji Yuyi gambling game itself was rushed to lose. Some people, after pursuing magic to death, can't find any trace of magic. And some people, even if you are not interested in magic, will let you learn it. Yi Bai is the latter. Ji Yuyi's purpose for Yi Bai to learn magic is simple, that is, he hopes to win Yi Bai. Don't ask Yi Bai to be the protector of the earth like her, as long as Yi Bai will help when the earth is in danger in the future. Of course, in addition to this careful thinking, there is another important reason for being entrusted by others. The purpose of that old friend was not to trap Yi Bai, but to kill Yi Bai. It's just that Ji Yu Yi didn't plan to do this, and knew he couldn't do it. Odin, I won't get involved with your housework, it's up to you to do it yourself. Ji Yu Yi thought of gloating in his heart. That's right, the old friend mentioned by Ji Yu Yi refers to Odin. As the guardian of the earth, how could Ji Yu Yi not know Odin? After all, the earth is one of the nine worlds, an atrium. As for why Odin wanted to shoot Yi Bai, it was naturally because of Hela. Asgard, Golden Palace. Odin is very angry now and wants to kill people. The source of anger is Hela, his unfilial daughter. After Hela escaped the seal before, Odin had never been so angry, at best he was a little worried. But after learning that Hela had become a couple with a mortal, Odin was completely blown up. His daughter, the eldest daughter of the Odingson family, the eldest princess of Asgard, the heir of the noble king of blood, actually found a mortal as his husband. This is simply an insult to Asgard's glory. Not to mention how angry Odin was as an old father when he heard that his cabbage had been eaten by a pig. Mortal, I will hang you on the rainbow bridge and torture you every day for a thousand years. Odin gritted his teeth and cursed, almost smoking on the spot in his heart. Although the relationship between Odin and Hela is not good, Hela is bleeding his Odin's blood after all. Hela is her daughter, and this can never be changed. But his daughter found a mortal, which Odin could not accept. Even more uncomfortable for Odin than Hela's rebellion. Heimdall, tell me Thor and let him go and kill the mortal. Odin said to Heimdall that he wanted to watch Yi Bai die now. Dare to ruin my daughter of Odin, you are afraid that you don't know how ruthless my Odin is. Heimdall looked a little ugly after hearing Odin's words. Ah, your majesty Odin, I think it is more likely that Thor will be killed directly by Hela. Heimdall whispered, hoping Odin could change his order. Why is this to kill Yi Bai, this is obviously to let Thor go to death. Today's Thor is too immature, he can't be Hela's opponent at all. Going to the door can only die for nothing. After hearing Heimdall's reminder, Odin also reacted, and secretly cursed himself as an idiot. But immediately became even more angry. Ah, ah, my daughter not only ran away with outsiders, but also helped outsiders to bully her family. Can this be better? No, I personally go to the atrium, seal the unfilial girl, and then smash the mortal body into pieces. Odin was so angry that his beard was about to curl up. Because of the excitement, even the blue veins on the neck were violent. Ah, if this is the case, then the entire atrium may be destroyed. And have you forgotten? You have reached an agreement with the celestial group not to interfere with other civilizations. Heimdall persuaded him, hoping Odin could calm down. As for the celestial group, it is a mysterious organization that has existed for countless years, and every member of the celestial group is terrifyingly strong. In the very early days, Odin once had a fight with members of the Celestial team. After killing several members of the Celestial group, they reached an agreement with the Celestial group not to forcibly interfere with the development of other civilizations. Otherwise, without these Celestial gods, Asgard's territory would probably occupy half of the universe. The Kerry Empire, which is now rampant in the universe, was just an indigenous civilization that only dared to hide in a corner and shiver in the glorious era of Asgard. After hearing the celestial group, Odin also calmed down, and sighed helplessly in his heart. It seems that there is really no way to stop Hela. But when he thought of his daughter having a love affair with a mortal, and even having a family and having children, Odin felt as if he had taken gunpowder, and was furious. 
Although the girl Hila is a bit too filial, she is still her own girl after all. Your daughter can bully herself anyway, but why is immortal? No, I must have that mortal die. Odin thought bitterly that he couldn't let go of his daughter being put to sleep by a mortal. At this time, the queen Frigga walked out. When Hela rebelled, I never saw you so angry. Frigga said in a bad tone, and when it comes to this, Frigga has a very faint resentment towards Odin. Now Hela has been taken over by a mortal, after all, it is not your pot. If you don't, Hela raises crookedness, will Hela rebel? If Hela does not rebel, will he be sealed in the atrium? Will Hela escape the seal without sealing it in the atrium? If Hela doesn't escape the seal, will he be put to sleep by a mortal? It was said that, but Frigga was not very angry in her heart, or that she was angry with Odin. As for the matter of Hela and Ye Bai, Frigga did not object. As long as Hela feels it is worth it, then she, the queen mother, will have 10,000 support. This is the difference between father in law and mother in law. Thanks for watching, please subscribe and support my channel.